After prompting a standoff in Kenosha that lasted for hours, the suspect behind it all was arrested. Derricka Williams learned more about the reason behind that massive manhunt. She joins us live tonight. Well, Kenosha police say the 29-year-old suspect was wanted for some pretty violent crimes and threats against the mother of his child. Last week, law enforcement swarmed this area looking for him. Loud bangs. They had the street blocked off. Followed by Kenosha police and deputies making their way toward a home near 52nd Street and 23rd Avenue. Policemen over at the intersection said, stay in your house. Residents stayed put while a standoff lasted for hours. Announcing that they had a warrant for his arrest. And, uh... Come out with your hands up. But the woman who lives here tells Fox 6 the suspect was never inside. I was a victim. I had no knowledge of where his whereabouts were and anything. So um, I just felt like I was truly unfairly. She says authorities searched her home looking for Vernon Walker. They ramshacked me and my kids home. Um, stuff everywhere. Police told me that there was a vehicle in my parking lot that was unauthorized. That vehicle believed to be the one he allegedly stole from the mother of his child. Before taking it, court documents say he attempted to choke her by putting her in a chokehold with his arm, pulled down a nine millimeter black handgun, pointed it at her face, saying he was going to kill her. Armed with their own weapons outside of this home, authorities were determined to find him. Reports say he wasn't there, but hours later, police located him during a traffic stop and arrested him. Good that they caught him. While in the squad, he yelled, shoot me, kill me. And Walker is charged with several felonies, including possession of a firearm by a felon repeater, attempted strangulation and suffocation with a previous conviction repeater, domestic abuse, and he's due back in court tomorrow. Reporting live in Kenosha, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Derricka, thank you.